Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, virtual webinar. Today we're going to talk to you uh, basically how to start selling premium WordPress hosting with a brand new user experience that we're going to share with you. And what we're going to present to you today, it's basically your WordPress as a service business in a box. So who are we? So I'm Carlos, I'm the VP of Strategic Development here at Virtuoso, and also with me on the line I have Theo, which is the Strategic Product Manager and responsible for the product that we're going to be showing you today. So uh, our agenda for today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, WordPress market and its evolution, the needs that this market and this evolution have, uh, have created, and how we solved some of the needs for um, hosting service providers and agencies. We then will have a, a short demo, and at the end, we'll have time for some Q&A where you can ask us any questions that you might have. Uh, during the, um, the presentation, if you have any questions, please utilize the uh, Ask a Question tool on the, um, on the GoToWebinar control panel. This way, at the end, we'll be ready for them. So this... A lot of people here on this um, on this webinar, of course, are very familiar with the the massive evolution of WordPress and it's how much it has taken over the market. Uh, it has come to to conquer. So 43% of all websites and 65% of all CMSs, um, of all websites that utilize the CMS, I should say, are now in WordPress. And we can see here from 2014 all the way to 2021 that we had more customers seeking more automation. And what it led to was in 2021, WordPress sites have overtaken hand-coded sites as the default um, way of publishing sites on the internet. Uh, the entire WordPress economy was uh, hit 635 billion in 2021. And it's set to hit a trillion. That's massive. That's the entire economy generated by the WordPress sites in the next few years. So when it comes to WordPress hosting itself, so what has been the evolution of all these years? So of course, we all started the same. It started with shared hosting. Uh, everybody utilizing web control panels for hosting was offering it as part of it. And it was good. It was cheap. It was great for beginners. It was okay performance for low traffic sites, but uh, as we all know, had no dedicated resources, uh, noisy neighbor syndrome. It was you know, hard to scale and tough to scale and had some security risks. As such, we then saw an evolution to start offering more and more WordPress into VPSs. Uh, it helped some of the, uh, the growing pains because you could have dedicated resources. It's easier to scale VMs. Uh, it had better performance expected for mid-size um, uh, websites and, had, and gave clients more control than in shared hosting, but it required technical knowledge. Uh, it was hard to, um, to manage at scale and all the services that encompass the uh, the WordPress site were still running in one single VM. Now, as such, we then start to see uh, an advent of WordPress as a service. And that is where you have dedicated providers that focus on, on WordPress as a service, which gives great value. It's very optimized, it's easy to use, and it's a modern topology for WordPress, but has its problems which is it's very expensive to develop and maintain for the uh, service providers. Uh, it needs deep expertise, expertise, it is slow to innovate, what I mean because of the how expensive to develop it is. And very large sites still require one-to-one -one engagement. It's not a you know, self-service um, uh, type engagement. And it's still simple deployments, not necessarily large clusters. And this is where we wanna help, we wanna, help you evolve with Virtuoso and take away these cons, take away these pains. So what does all of that mean? It means that if you are still offering, and the majority of, of, uh, of our audience will be um, hosting providers and agencies, and you're still offering shared hosting and VPS hosting, you are not equipped to handle the growth of your, um, of your clients. So anybody that goes beyond the mid-sized website uh, you do not have the ability to, um, to fulfill all of the requirements, at least not easily. 
So this is a traditional uh, service provider, you know, uh, offers shared hosting, DPS, domains, dedicated servers, and it's fine. And you guys are signing up the client, the clients are coming in, but as the clients grow, they start to have additional requirements for auto scaling, high availability, optimized performance, uh, unified management across multiple sites, multiple geographies, and all of that, uh, it becomes impossible or extremely hard to do with uh, shared hosting is impossible, very hard to do with VPS. And what happens is, unable to fulfill the requirements from the clients, the clients churn. And they churn to the types of the mega hosts that are focusing on the WordPress as a service, like the WP engines of the world and the Kinstas, or moving to the hyperscalers for massive scale and doing it themselves, uh, which represents a loss of revenue. So what happens is, very small clients, it's okay, but if your clients can't scale, they can't grow, and they'll go out and look for somebody that can give them that ability. So what we're saying is, uh, we want to equip the, uh, the traditional service provider with the tools to meet the requirements of these, um, of these clients. So by adding our application platform for WordPress, you then are able to sign these clients when they're small, but then fulfill all of the requirements as they grow, meaning that they don't go elsewhere, they stay with you and your revenue grows because their demands grow, if, therefore they will consume more infrastructure from you. Now, we'll take a look as well, the typical journey today of a, of a client, and we, we, we segment the market basically in three. There's small, medium, and large WordPress type clients. Small ones will be the entry points, Middle type will be the guys that focus a little bit more and a little bit in offering a little bit more performance, a little bit more configuration flexibility, and then the very large ones focusing really on the big sites that need lots of scaling, HA, security, and so on. And typically a client will start at the entry point and they will start with you know the likes of you know the gold daddies, the site grounds, the flywheels, the media temples, and a lot of the people uh, today on this webinar as well, and some agencies will also utilize these. But then as they grow, they have to move and they'll move to the next layers. They'll move to the, uh, to the WP engines, the Pentiums. And then as they need additional requirements, additional scaling, additional HA, they then move into the likes of, uh, you know, uh, WordPress VIP and Pagelys of the world. What we're saying is, if you offer the solution that we present to you today, then your client can start at the entry point and grow all the way up never have to move, never have to migrate, and always be a happy client. So why? We tried, we created this, this platform because we understood that there was a need to fill a void on the next generation WordPress hosting. And with this, we'll give you the ability to have access to a platform that gives you new hosting, new digital experience, it really is created for scale and modernization of the of the you know of what the customers are asking. It is designed to compete with the mega hosts that have uh, you know funds that a typical hosting provider does not have, and it's simple to adopt. Now, this is the value proposition for service providers. I won't read every single one of these here, but you guys can read it, and you guys can then also request a copy of this presentation from uh, from our team. But basically, we are saying to the hosting providers and the web agencies, it's time to evolve and modernize uh, so you can have access to new markets, reduce churn, offer modern solutions, and increase your reach. And above all, outcompete the mega hosts. And also, that in turn gives you skill and growth, so you have more scalable offerings and also scalable billing, which we will discuss a little bit more uh, on this. Um, on this presentation and more scalable revenue. So you need to evolve so you can have better scale and better growth and more revenue. Now, how do we do it? Now I'll pass over to Tio, who is going to give you a little bit more in-depth detail on the technology surrounding our application platform for WordPress. Tio? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Hello, everyone. So our virtuoso application platform for WordPress it's a full stack platform that combines from underlying infrastructure, virtualization, a platform as a service, 
and it's coming to complete a total solution to deliver a WordPress as a service experience to for any kind of use, for any use cases. Of course, it's, a, it's full capable that you have vertical scaling and horizontal scaling for demanding projects and to, to be able to, to carry a, any load spikes. They are full optimized engineering by our team and unit for, for WordPress performance. And of course, the users, they can have a simplified and easy to use automatic clusterization without the need to have the expertise and the time to deploy all of this complex system. With this, you can deliver to your customers from, from entry point, as we will see in the next slides, topologies for, use, for small use cases, but also for very demanding applications. And let me explain how we deliver the topologies. We have a steady long topology that it resists all the software stacks within a single VPS. However, this uh, VPS is vertical scalable and anytime your users they would like to resize the instance, we go behind the scenes and we reconfigure all the software stacks to be always optimal based on the best practices and for the best performance. For the demanding users and for more for these users, they would like to have high availability, better performance, better flexibility. Uh, you can deliver auto clustering with the redundancy, and of course, you can enable horizontal scaling on demand, and of course, auto scaling as well based on specific triggers that they be in on system resources like CPU, memory, and so on. And for for very for very big projects. And for these users, they would like to have geo distribution. We also offer a multi cloud deployment based on multi region or even multi clouds. You can have high availability with uh, different clouds, and you can have, for example, in round robin or even from primary failover for disaster recovery capabilities. Uh, next. Excellent. Uh, but just to add here, this is exactly what I was referring to earlier, which is by giving uh, your customers the ability to have access to all these topologies and move from one topology to the next and the next, they can start small. But even on the standalone one, they'll start with something that it's way more advanced than any shared hosting package you can give them. But then the ability to grow into clusters and multi region as they, they require. Now, this is the reason why we're here today. We, we want to talk to you about our new dashboard from Virtuoso. And uh, this is what's going to make it possible for you to have basically the, a WordPress in a box business. And uh, Theo will give you guys a demo of this in a, few min in a few minutes. But basically this new dashboard, this new product that we have launched, uh, it is you know, modernization ready. What do we mean by that? It is ready for you to offer a modern WordPress solution. It's very, easy to, it's very easy to use. It's a whole unified WordPress management. And it has things such as built-in monitoring, alert, uh, alerting, metering of, of the WordPress site that it's on the management. It's very intuitive. And it's designed specifically to satisfy the needs of web agencies. And their end customers. And what we mean by that is uh, for a lot of the service providers here on the call, a lot of your clients will be web agencies, not just end customers, but web agencies that will manage, you know, hundreds, thousands, uh, you know, a plethora of, of websites to their own clients. And they don't have an easy way to do that without having to go from site to site to site. And this helps them tremendously. Of course, if you have a direct end user, they can utilize the same, the same system and get access to all these benefits. It's more scalable and it's more cost effective and user friendly to the legacy uh, web panels that we all know and, and use. Now, within the system, we also created an advanced flexible pricing model that you can utilize for your clients, but also the web agencies can, can utilize for their clients. So this built-in integrated building gives you several ways to build for the WordPress infrastructure. It can be fixed. This is traditional um, uh, packages as, as, as we all know it. And it's ideal for small projects that, don't, that have very predictable 
requirements on don't necessarily need scal scalability, you know, the type of $4 a month type websites. Uh, you can also create a hybrid type package, which is ideal for medium-sized projects that have a predictable load, but also need some on-demand scalability. And then you can also create a fully auto-scalable uh, package that it's ideal for large-scale projects that basically uh, they know they're going to need a lot of a lot of infrastructure, but they don't know how much. It want to be all ad hoc, and they can have a complete pay-per-use model that whatever resources their sites utilize, that's what they pay. Uh, so this basically um, covers all the spectrum of requirements of pricing models for a modern WordPress topology. So now to the uh, cool stuff. It's time for, for Teal to give us a demo. So Teal, let me make you presenter. Thank you, Carlos. I hope you can see my screen. For this webinar, we will focus on the end user experience. On the, on the next one, we will have more technical oriented conversation and we will show you also the cluster administration and how you can create products and how you can configure your own offerings and so on. So the, the dashboard is coming with uh, two layouts, of course, on light mode, but also on dark mode, according to, to the customer needs. And we have here a card view that the user can have in real time statistics and they can have a centralized view of all their projects for better observability, of course. However, they can have a good view as well when they manage a lot of projects, they can search quickly and they can sort by specific criteria. Let me show you how we can create a new project. Of course, we can have a friendly name here and the unique subdomain. On the next step, we have an interactive map that automatically adapts based on the available regions. For example, if you're offering only in one country, it will show this specific country. And as you grow and you have more regions on different contents and so on, the map is growing and uh, it's been adapted automatically. So the user can now select the region and on the next step we have the available products and the service plans. So the products, they can have its own service plans and you can extend the products as you want. So we do not have limitations, you can have one, two, three, four and so on. On each product we have also different software stacks. For example, you can have a WordPress with Nginx or you can have a WordPress with Lightspeed. We have also tuned packages for WooCommerce usage and also WordPress clusters, WordPress multi-regions and so on. You have all the control to configure any kind of service plan based on your own strategy. For, 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 this, uh, for my account now, I have already subscribed on four service plans on the WordPress plan now. And I can see I have already utilized my service plans here but uh, I can apply subscription on the growth. So why we created this? Uh, for web agencies, for example, you may have a small customers that you would like 15 websites on the starter, but you may have a more business oriented customers that you would like to subscribe eight websites on the business side. So you have full control and do to have as many service plans, but also within the service plan, you can extend websites from one, two, 10, and so on. Uh, one website also, it includes two environments. It's, it have by default the production environment, but also a staging environment within the same project. So for now, I will apply the subscription and for to speed up this webinar, I will do not create a project, but I will show you how it works. So once we create a project and we open the project, we have a, a full visibility okay, directly. You can keep going. We still have some time. We, mm -hmm. We're going. Back. Okay. We have uh, the summary uh, about the WordPress version, the PHP version. Anytime the end user can go and redeploy this instance with a different software stack and different 
PHP version, for example. And of course, we have the data center information, where is this project located, how they can access via SSH and SFTP into their project. And of course, we have database information, they can reset the password and they can access the PHP MyAdmin directly through the dashboard. About the statistics, we have real-time statistics in the, in the for the observability, based on CPU, memory, network, inbound, outbound traffic, and uh, internal and external as well. And of course, with storage, we have the utilization of the disk space, but also about the performance, how much IOPS has been utilized. The dashboard itself has been it's flexible, so they can uh, increase the second section and they can also work directly on their files and we have file management directly like a cloud IDE for then users to work directly through the dashboard. We have a favorite tab here that we have some uh, specific files to be accessible for the end user to configure and tune the PHP for example, the php.ini or the MySQL configuration. And of course, we have some extensions that can be easily uh, enabled or disabled. On the WordPress side now, we have access on the document route. Basically, we have removed everything that is according to the operating system because uh, your users and the end users, they, they do not uh, care. They want to have something simplified, easy of use, and to focus only for WordPress. So our mission here is to make it really serverless, more like a software as a service, and to be focused only on WordPress. They can have directly access within the files. For example, I can open the WP configuration file and of course, in real time, we can update the document, we can save, and we can, we can also, if it was this a cluster, we can save on specific node, or automatically we can save this across all the cluster. Now, for the WordPress management itself, we have a very promising roadmap. For this version now, we have a plugin management. The user can easily uh, update they can activate, deactivate specific plugin, but also they can uh, delete uh, which ones they would they do not want anymore to use. On the project settings, we have a custom domain. The customer can configure its domain, and automatically now it's been it can be distributed through our set load balancers. These load balancers can be scalable. So once you you extend your projects and you add multiple projects within your infrastructure, we can scale. And uh, of course, as we, we use this as an ingress traffic, you do not need to have external IP addresses to the container itself. However, if you would like to enable public IPs for your end users, it's of course possible and you can do this. Once you configure your domains, we have simplified the installation of the SSL configuration. The user can easily select the domains. Uh, we have Let's Encrypt built in, you can install. But also, if you want to have some commercial SSLs, you can easily configure it here and to install it automatically. On the backup side, <coughs> you, we give the full control to the end users. They can configure its own schedule based on hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. But also, we have tuned a little bit the logic uh, more than the competition. When what we mean here, you can have multiple backup storages and you can deliver this built in to offer it free, for example, up to 10 gigabyte, but also you can enable other users for more. And you, again, I will say you have full control. And these backup storages, it can be within the same data center, it can be in different data center, and also you can have different strategy for this for disaster recovery capabilities and based on best practices. And definitely, as we give the whole control to the end user, they can also configure its own rotation. Now, for international customers, if you operating uh, global, uh, the users can configure custom scheduler based on its own time zones and based on their own needs. And definitely for advanced users, they can easily configure based on Crontab. So we have the production environment. Easily we can 
go to staging, we can copy from production, and once we test everything after, we can switch the traffic based on our needs. And now on, we have centralized system settings with the users, they can have a different SSL certification management. And why we are doing this here? Here it's more optimal for wildcard SSL, for example. You, you can have centralized management or for multi-sun SSL. So you can attach here a, a big SSL and after you can easily bind it to different environments or to multiple environments as well. It supports also a Git by default. You can add a repo with authentication or without and to configure branch for production or for staging and you can continue deploy automatically or manually on demand based on for basically for advanced users and again here we have the backup storages and you can configure subscriptions you can extend your offerings you can have free ones or you can you can upsell more backup capabilities as well on the user side now we have the account we have uh, some user information and also maintenance time for international users when they prefer to have maintenance time if they, if you would like to have, for example, some maintenance on the underlying infrastructure when they prefer to have live migrations between and so on. And of course, we have centralized SSH access keys. Here, they can attach their public SSH key and to utilize our centralized SSH gateway. Through this, they can have easily management and centralized. They can access with one key all the environments very, very easily and uh, user friendly. And also, we support private key. If, for example, if you would like to access through SSH some uh, Git like GitHub. On the payment side, we support the uh, native Stripe integration, and now we're extending also with WHMS. Uh, they can have a payment methods, the default, they can add a, a new cards on demand. And of course, we have the invoices, the subscriptions, and uh, they can manage from centralized all their offerings from here. Uh, so this is very quickly and in, in a high level. I hope you like the demo and uh, let me give back the presenter to Carlos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Theo. Okay. okay excellent. Uh, so, Theo, uh, one question that um, somebody had was uh, if this can be white labeled, the control panel? Yes, so it's full customized. You can have uh, logos, everything, yes, like okay. usual. Excellent. So just a reminder to everyone that to please um, add your questions in and in a few minutes we're going to go through them. So while we continue here with the, uh, the presentation, any questions that you think of, please add them on the questions uh, panel. So that was the demo. Very cool. Thank you so much, Theo. So what we want, we want to help you to continue to evolve uh, strategically with us and enhance your return on investment to reduce your TCO. So basically, uh, you need to look into your costs and any savings because, you know, we understand that currently it is a tough market and cost reduction will mean, you know, um, reducing production and at risks and the stagnation mode of the market, reduce your TCO, more continuous integration, continuous uh, deployment for agencies, which is less time consuming and less requirement for human resources, which can then... Uh, help you with revenue growth by having a ready to go market offering where you continue to evolve, you extend your offers to these premium offerings um, with native built-in solutions. And we'll talk a little bit more about ROI and TCO now, but the idea is reduce costs, increase revenue, increase your margin. Now, there's two types of uh, WordPress hosting that we want to address on these calculations. The first one being shared WordPress hosting. Now today, uh, if you do shared WordPress hosting, you will utilize a web panel. 
And so what we've done is we did some calculations and we took a look, okay, what will happen on uh, ROI if you try to host 100,000 websites? And uh, our investigation showed that in traditional hosting, the majority of websites, about 80% will be small websites, 10% will be about medium, another 10% will be large. Now, by utilizing a modern topology, you are able to actually charge more than the traditional shared hosting because the client is getting more. So even on small, medium and large websites, you get a higher revenue. Uh, so the, the average price per account is a lot higher, but you also get access to the premium one. And this is what you're missing if you are doing today's shared web host hosting. You cannot offer the premium um, uh, packages to your clients, which are the very lucrative ones, that on our own calculation, we put it at you know, a premium package being around $300, but here's the kicker. Today, if you go to a premium WordPress provider, it will not be $300, it will be $3,000. We want to bring that price down. So we're not, even, we're not even putting these premium packages at today's price. No, we understand we're going to commoditize the market. These prices will go down and you'll be there, but you are missing on that today. So by, by offering a modern WordPress topology, you have a possible revenue for the same for the same infrastructure or almost four times higher. And Carlos, now, please allow me to, <clears throat> to comment also as well that it includes significantly management services that in, they can be included into the pricing and as well the whole expertise and the and the clustering that we're focusing also with data operations and we simplify the whole onboarding and the, not only on deploy we continue to operate and to to help to manage big projects simplified and Absolutely. this of course can increase the revenues as well mm -hmm. So continuing uh, our, you know, the um, the exercise that we did, uh, we then took, we continued to, to take a look at the return on investment, and we looked at the difference. For instance, if we look at, uh, you know, um, at so continuing virtuals versus traditional web panels, we looked into, okay, what do we need to run 100,000 websites. That was the cost for each physical server, how much memory it gives us, and based on the uh, the total amount that we're going to need, because a lot of those 100,000 websites now, uh, a few of them will be running on the, you know, on the, on the top tier. Uh, we're going to need more servers because we have access to more clients, more packages, uh, which yes, it means that you have more plans, more customers and more infrastructure requirements. So it is a, a bigger investment, but that leads to higher margins, better profits, and more revenue. And you can see there that it's quite a difference where you see upwards of about 260% more pro possible profits versus doing it just on web panels. That's for the shared hosting portion. And we're more than happy to discuss this in more detail with, with you guys. If anybody wants to know a little bit more about it, please reach to us. Uh, we'll have the contact here at the end because uh, there's quite a, quite a bit of calculations being done here and it's hard to present everything in a, in, in a single webinar. But we also have some uh, ROI TCO calculators that we can hand over to you if you want to do your own calculations. Now, when it comes to dedicated WordPress hosting, uh, and by dedicated, we, we mainly talk about uh, VPSs and in some cases, dedicated servers. The main problem there is that for every single one of the VPSs, you need today a management portal. And that becomes costly and becomes a lot, you know, uh, resource intensive to manage. So for every single VPS, your clients needs uh, a management portal. What we say is with Virtuals, you can achieve the same level of resource segregation, uh, same level of security, same level of scalability, and more, as we've shown here before but a much better licensed topology that it's a lot more cost efficient, resource efficient and management efficient. And that translates that, for instance, we took a, if we take a look at one, that this was one of the um, 
the exercises that we did for the uh, for the dedicated WordPress hosting. We took one physical server and we 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 did a test where each virtual in, environment was to have about two gigs of memory. And by doing it this way, with that single server, uh, with traditional web panels, we could have about 122 um, cloud servers. With virtuals, we could have about 170. Now, if we take a look at what the software costs are for those web panels versus what it will be for Virtuoso, uh, there is a big difference. Um, it's uh, a lot cheaper. There's a 56% difference. Now, you might say, well, hang on, 15 per server, 3.3. It's because it's a different uh, licensing topology. And one is per server, the other one is per, per RAM. But it still translates that your license would be 56% cheaper. When it comes to the hardware, because of the way you can pack, and what we've done here is we took again the price for that reference server model from Dell, and uh, the price of the the server is about sixteen point nine thousand uh, dollars, which translates to roughly nine hundred thirty six per month if you do the typical lifespan of the server being eighteen months and take the the cost of the server and divide it by the eighteen months. Uh, based on the fact that you can put more VEs on the server. That gives you a VE cost per month uh, of 5.50 in Virtuoso for the hardware alone versus 7.7 .7 on web panels. Again, another nearly 30% difference there. So that makes a difference. And that makes a difference on your return on investment because if you then go and try to sell these servers and we average, uh, we estimated you know, each server to be around $35 in average, that's uh, you know the difference in AR will be about 200% from doing it with web panels versus doing it with virtual so so quite substantial mm -hmm. and if we go full out scale you know what happens at 1000 servers now because you know nobody's in business to have only one server uh, it really starts to become very very interesting because you can see there that your ROI jumps from you know uh, 25 million to 54 million by doing it this way so uh, very interesting very exciting and of course um, it's the way we uh, we advise people to go because modernization of wordpress is needed this is what customers are looking for this is what customers are moving towards and if you're not offering it well then they go to who is so that's it and uh, you, you want to add something Yes, of course. Uh, to to give an understanding why we can accommodate more virtual environments within one server, it's of course because our proven technology by Virtuoso containers, you can get better density and uh, you can accommodate and you can utilize better the whole resource of the system. And we have a question from the audience about the CDN. If we have built-in integration, uh, yes, we have now uh, an also automatically deliver the CDN implementation through our uh, during creation and it's based on enterprise edge network so we have this built in and you can leverage it without commitments without any initial investment nothing you can get this by default uh, however uh, our framework it's built like this that you can extend your own offerings you can have third-party integrations very easily you can create micro micro framework within the same i will describe how you can do this easily on the next sessions that we will have in uh, two weeks about the technical webinar and you will understand how you can have not only cdn but any kind of third-party services to to develop within your own offerings and of course we are planning now to deliver more and more about integrations. For example, we will have uh, performance plugins, commercial plugins for WordPress. We will have security plugins. We will extend also with some uh, more performance oriented about edge capabilities and many, many more. They are coming very, very soon in the next releases. Okay, um, let me, uh, so we have quite a few questions here. So I'll ask the questions to you. Uh, some of them I'll answer, some of them uh, I'll ask you to answer. Um, so one of them, one of them is, are there ways to integrate this in the current infrastructure like VMware? So there's no reason why you couldn't just utilize VMware as the, uh, as the source um, 
for the infrastructure and you can deploy this on top of it. It's not, that's mm -hmm. not a problem there whatsoever. Now, another great question here. I believe you might have shown some of this on the demo, but the question is, are there any options for temporary domains? So basically, if somebody is developing a website and they don't have the domain, they don't want to point to it just yet, that is possible today, Theo? It's automatically, yes. When you create a project, we allocate automatically a subdomain. In this domain, you can also white label it. You can have your own domains based on your own brand, and it's it's been f f created automatically by, and with built-in DNS services uh, by default. Excellent. Uh, we have a question if this can be run in Proxmox. I'm not sure you can, but you wouldn't need it. Uh, so you would just be creating redundant um, uh, management, uh, so it would not be required. You can, but we would, you know, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be advisable because you would then be um, wasting resources. But you can. In, in reality, the solution is infrastructure agnostic. It can be deployed on any solution. You can leverage it, hyperscalers, public clouds, and anything. Yes, yes, you can deploy it anywhere you would like to. Okay, uh, we have a question. What is the pricing of the platform? So the pricing is based on the RAM on the management. There are several tiers, depends on how much uh, it's consumed. But uh, this would be something better answer over email because there are different tiers, uh, you know, the more the, the more you utilize, the cheaper it becomes. Uh, another question here, Tio, can it be translated? Yes, we support localization and you, you, we have also a very well documented and the source file. You can switch this and you can multiply languages. You can have as many languages as you would like to and then the users, they can switch between languages, of course. Excellent. Um, so uh, we had a question to please elaborate on the billing. Uh, what are the options for receiving payment from customers? I believe you covered some of that on your demo. Mm -hmm. uh, for on the demo today, it was built in with Stripe native integration. So you just need to configure the API keys and automatically it works. And on, on the Next release, we have also WHMS integration, but yet it's the API is very friendly. We have diagram how you can also integrate it with your custom billing and it supports prepaid use, but also you can enable postpaid use for some uh, collaborations. You have in more deep partnerships that you would like to deliver more customized, yes. And definitely you can have also different groups, different buildings, you can have a, a hybrid offering, you can have private clouds, public clouds, and uh, of course you can even deploy this on premises, you can accelerate on production, you can leverage hyperscalers, everything. This is something we will we will say more on the, on the next webinar. Excellent. Um, we have a great question here actually, uh, I love this question which is how mature is the service? If we shift to it, is it going to be supported for at least a decade? Love the question. Um, now, that's actually a great question in, in two, two aspects. One is how mature is this? Actually, this has been in development, development now for quite a while, but also the back end of it, it's based on our VAP engine, which has been in development now for, for a decade at least. Uh, so it's quite mature. And is it going to be supported for at least a decade? Well, here's the thing. If you saw from my charts, um, we can clearly, uh, we see the path. Uh, WordPress now is 65% uh, of all CMSs, 43% of all websites. It's only going to grow. Uh, we believe this is a cornerstone of our own future, Virtuoso. And we don't see WordPress going anywhere over the next decades. And we must be, uh, you know, we must continue to support it and be ready for, for the changes. So yes, uh, I, I clearly can say that it will be supported for at least that. Now, one other question, and this is uh, for you, Theo, uh, and the same is, can we add more than two environments other than production and staging? I don't believe so. Can we? We don't have that now, but we, but it's possible, of course, yes. We, our plan is also to extend with development, staging, and production as well, yes. It's going to be possible. 
Yes. Excellent. Um, do we plan any integration with the likes of Uminify, for various malware WAF? Uh, I believe we already have some of that, right? Yeah, here? Yes, we have already two solutions. I will, I will, I. I will not name them now, uh, but yes, we will have also Immunify. We are already basically Immunify released before 10 days that it's now supported with Virtuoso as well, based on our kernels and everything. And we are already in conversations for the integration. And not only, we will have also their WP acceleration and some components that they are looking interested to us. And of course, we have some other solutions that we are going to, to deliver based in next month. We are going to release these commercial WordPress plugins that they are already very famous and very well known into the market. And of course, these ones, they are there will be a possibility to, to bundle it into your service plans or to upsell them and to give the end user the, the option to select if they want them or not. Okay. Um, we're going to go a little bit quicky here because we, we have tons of questions. We're not going to be able to, <laughs> to answer all of them, but there's some good ones here. Uh, for instance, uh, one that I know you've been doing some work on, Theo, uh, are there any tools to bulk transfer WordPress sites? And yes. We have, yes. We already have a migrator tool from web, from web panels. Yes, definitely. We are working on this. And this is coming with two layers. The one layer, you can do it as a system administrator. So you can have a massive migrations from the source for example, for some famous web panels, but as well, we will have a tool for the end user to simplify and migrate auto, uh, based on uh, on uh, on its own control through his own, based on its own offerings from uh, not with, without root access, let's say. Okay. Uh, another question: Do we provide data centers as well? Uh, n well. Yes and no. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Uh, so Virtuoso, we're a software uh, company, but we have um, what we call, so we have a federation, a, an exchange of providers, which are Virtuoso powered uh, cloud service providers that can provide infrastructure for anybody that needs it. So, you know, get in touch with us and we, we certainly can, can discuss this. Um, okay, uh, who can, oh, we're just going through here. What about, you know, um, oh God, we have, what about, um, you know, management like security patches, updates, are they auto-managed, are they auto-updated, auto how does that work, Tio? For, so very nice question. Thank you for this. We have again different layers. The first one, um, let's assume we have a uh, vulnerabilities on software stacks, operating systems, or any other of this, and it's been critical. We automatically patch this because our technology, we have the capability to do it. And also from the end user perspective, if they want to have some updates, as I saw you during the demo, they can always redeploy to the latest images. So uh, they can do this with zero downtime. And uh, of course they can uh, fetch the latest image that it can be fetched by our repo. And definitely you can also fork this repo. For the security patches now in the WordPress side, we're working specifically to, to, to not only deliver a plugins within uh, for the WordPress itself, but for the capability to, to, to secure the core and with specific WordPress profile and for specific WordPress vulnerabilities that have been arised day to day from a not well written, let's say, plugins, we have also this one. Okay. Um, another question here you know, somebody says, that, for instance, they're an agency that, uh, you know, manage WordPress sites currently with um, the AP and uh, I believe through. Uh, I can't say for sure from the question, but it looks like through through a CSP, for instance, and mm -hmm. they would like to, to understand how can they switch to this, but as a provider themselves with their own infrastructure, which is great, which is exactly what we believe that a lot of, you know, some some um, agencies will will do. 
uh, if you can't get a CSP to, to, to give you the, the, the proper infrastructure that you want and you want to have your own infrastructure, uh, you can uh, just contact us and, and, and uh, you know, we can discuss giving you uh, access to the software, access to trial and so on. Uh, but that's not a problem whatsoever. Um, is there an API? Yes. Uh, whatever you've seen today through our user experience is API driven. So you can create anything based on your own custom control panel and based on your own needs. And not only, we have also access to the core engine. I will describe and I will show you how it works on the next webinars. Excellent. Um, it also it asks if it can handle also its own plug, uh, their own plugins from Git. Sorry, can you repeat, Carlos? Uh, it, can I handle also my own plugins from Git, you know, Git repository? It's full compatible with Git, yes, and we have also the capability with auto deploy. It's understanding when you push code to the specific branch, it's auto deploy to the to the environment, of course, yes. Okay. Um, okay. I there's quite a few questions here, um, which is basically, you know, how do I get access to it? Can you know? Can I download it? Uh, how do I start? Um, quite a few I'm, I'm, I'm just going through them so Theo for people to to start basically they would send the email to uh, info at virtuoso uh, and you would request that you want to to trial to test to to play with at VAP for WordPress and the new the new control panel and uh, our you know our guys and our girls they will they will, they will help you with that um just the last one uh can uh host build whmcs integration yes there is whmcs integration on the back end but the client would utilize this as the front end and, and let me please note something here we have also two different billing uh, methods what i mean you can share based on credits and each subscription it can be utilized based on prepaid credits and on also we offer bonuses so it will re it be really modernized or you can enable based on external invoices which means the whole subscription has been controlled based like in, on, on traditional model like uh, with grace period you need to pay the invoice otherwise the subscription is going to be suspended and so on excellent so um uh, we we just passed on the chat uh, a form that uh, you can utilize to request uh, demos or more info so we advise you to go into that form as well but for us you know great questions thank you so much don't forget that we will have another session uh, with Theo that we'll talk we'll, we'll dive a little bit more deep into the uh, into the back end and the bones of this so we advise you to also uh, come and visit us on the, on the on that session and thanks everyone for your time for your attention and your questions and we uh, we you know we want to make your business successful and we want to be part of it we want to be your partners and please let us know any questions that you might have thank you so much thank you Theo. thank you very much thank you carlos thank you thank you thank you have a great day everyone